Hey, we are now starting to broadcast. We have finally got our studios ready and the Montana News has grown. We are now news partnered with Mojo 92.5, Twain 107.5, and Crossroads 105.1. The, the goal of the Montana News is to reach the bulk of the people. We have the message, we speak the truth, so if you want to hear the truth, tune in to the Montana News at www.montanasnews.com. Welcome to the Montana News First Broadcast. I'm Vanette. And I'm Donald. In local news, Taco Bell is coming to the south side of Billings. Recently, a builder permit was uh, issued to a Missoula-based CLC restaurants, and that new Taco Bell will be located in South Billings Urban Renewal District. The actual location for that new Taco Bell will be at 749 Commerce Way, which is right by Amon Park and Dirt Green. Yeah, and all of that new Pop grill. Pops. Yeah, that's it. The Louis Louisiana Grill Popeyes. It's right over there on King Avenue West. Anyway, this will bring a new revitalization to the residents that live on the south side of Billings, and the Montana News and our viewers welcome the California chain based company that is owned by Young Brands who already have three stores here in Billings. Now we got four. That's cool. Well, today in the Montana News latest crime report, according to Sergeant Matthew Cheney of the Billings Police Department, on 8-8-2016 at 2300 hours, Billings Police were dispatched to a report of a robbery at the Hilltop Station Casino located at 523 Hilltop in Billings, Montana. Two unidentified males entered the small casino, which was occupied by one employee and two customers. The robbers were both, both had guns on them. One of the suspects confronted the, the patron and ultimately hit that customer over the head with his handgun, causing minor injuries to that customer. Now that's getting pretty scary. According to an m &A source, the suspects then fled from the casino and took an undisclosed amount of money. The suspects both appear to be middle-aged white males. Now that really... That could be anybody. That could be anybody. The Montana News encourages the residents of Billings to arm yourself with handguns. Go get a concealed carry permit or open carry your weapon if, it, if you can legally do it. It just takes one good man with a gun to stop a bad man with a gun. It's your right. Well, and actually, you can go right down to the sheriff's office and pull out that paperwork. It's pretty easy to at least get the process started. So in national regional news, my not North Dakota police initiated a traffic stop at the 500 block of First Avenue Northwest. And police officers noticed that the driver of that vehicle was trying to hide the items in the vehicle. So the police officers, during their process of investigation, ended up searching the vehicle. And that search of that vehicle yielded multiple individual packaged, uh, individually packaged bundles of marijuana about 52 grams, that's quite a bit, according to the Montana News source. A concealed firearm and marijuana paraphernalia was also found in the vehicle. The driver of the vehicle was an 18-year-old Noah Jarvis Abram. That's young. Yes, he's very young. He was charged with possession of marijuana paraphernalia, possession of marijuana with intent to deliver, and possession of a concealed firearm without Out. concealment, yeah. without a concealment license, and driving while under suspicion. Suspension. Yeah. Suspension. In a phone interview with Montana News, the Minot police indicated that their crime rate is actually going up and an increase of drug activity in their town. Well, speaking of that, you know, here in Billings, the crime rate is also increasing. The Billings Police Department are having to handle more calls now than they've ever handled. And of course, that's why they're hiring more and more police, uh, police officers. Of course, they've got to change with the old guard uh, retiring and leaving and new people coming out. But if we, the problem is bigger than just Billings and Minot, North Dakota. If we look at the national scene, we can see that there's cry, major crime taking place with the, that's really violent. And again, I stress that it's you, the public, you need to protect yourself. Go arm yourself with a gun. If you have the ability and legally can get a, a carry, a, a open carry, then do it. Or go down to the sheriff department, fill out your application for a concealment license, and carry your gun. Again, we've had a fun broadcast. We'll be back and we'll uh, also have a round table where uh, we'll have some guests talking and this is going to be kind of fun. So I look forward to doing it again and seeing you again. Absolutely. Bye-bye.